So this video is to demonstrate chant kiting. You notice I don't have a mercenary up. So I get the full experience. And because this is in Great Divide where you have restless ice, I have um, area of absolution memmed. Target yourself. It's usually a one-shot cure of restless ice or should be. Recently fixed my epic hotkey. I changed the charm because I wanted to use Absolution Cure so I could memorize charm on the fly if I had to, just quick. Um, got Jonathan's up, got my uh, snare up. I'm not going to use Jonathan's. I will use my snare. Absolution's only up in case I get hit with Restless Ice. I have a hotkey set up so I can, if I hit um, the asterisk key on my number pad, it targets me and then goes back to my target. That's good for like cures. I take off lev because I don't like lev when I'm kiting. It's, you know, whatever people like. Um, as I said, I'm still getting, uh, I'm no expert in the bard. I'm just kind of fine tuning it. And I recently feel like I was le leaving something on the table, but not using harmony of tone to pull with when I'm uh, using my dots because that's the resist debuff and it's got a 200 range. So I wanted to incorporate that and now I'm thinking okay well normally that would go in my slot 9 because that's my swap slot but I've got to make an adjustment here because I want snare up too. I could have put it in Jonathan's in this case I'm not going to be AE mezzing anything so I'll put my harmony of tone in slot 13. And then I will use that to pull with. So I'm trying to figure out which mob to go for as they're all moving around here. I tag this one, start to it, realize this one's coming close, so I back up, get out of range. The other way to stop that song is to hit uh, duck. But here I pull harmony of tone. That's an 18 second uh, resist debuff. And initially I'm thinking, am I going to refresh that? And I try it, quickly realize, hell no, I'm not going to be refreshing Harmony of Tone. I'll just use Boastful Bellow, which is also a resist debuff. You have to decide what view you want to kite in. When I'm in bigger outdoor zones, I like to um, have the above head view where I can see as I go in circles. But in this little valley, I think I decide I want to just... Uh, keep with the traditional point of view. If I hit F9 four times, that puts me in the above head view. If I hit F9 twice, it puts me back into my preferred uh, moving about view. Here I'm just uh, dotting him up and kiting him around. You have to be careful. It's very easy to get ads around here. Um, on either side of it, like for instance, here's a couple ads. Now, the mob is snared moving slow, so I'm going to let these guys split off a bit. I fade them off, go back, pick up the, uh, the kite E mob again, and just resume kiting. And so I'll just steer around those ads until they're out of the way. And you always have to keep remember, notice I'm not kiting right now. If you get hit, if you miss something, just be aware. Um, Re-hit your melody key. Go back into kite mode. Um, I hit Boastful Bellow whenever I see it's up. That's additional damage, and it's also a resist debuff. This is not like Necro-style experience. This is just... You're waiting for a group. You're looking for a group. You can have your mercenary uh, pulled, and you can kill mobs. You know, I mean, these are experience-giving mobs. And uh, another thing you can do is if you have two of these guys chasing you, that's no problem. You just kite both of them. Usually that'll happen if I, uh, you know, aggro an extra mob, but this guy's fairly low. I might go ahead and just let them keep 
keep up. You just have to be careful when you're snaring, you will split them out. So if you're going to be chanting multiple mobs, you probably want to stop the snare. Like I said, a necro can be kiting four of these mobs at once, dotting them all up. Though I have not uh, kited on my necro since the uh, wounds nerf.